The first and main symptom of thoracic spondylosis is a pain in the middle portion of the spine. It occurs due to compression of nerve roots from disc herniation, bone spurs, or thickened ligaments. If back pain in thoracic spondylosis is caused by an intervertebral disc herniation, it is made worse by sitting with the spine bending forward for prolonged periods of time. Back pain in thoracic spondylosis caused by facet joint osteoarthritis is worse when standing and is relieved by sitting or bending forward. Pain in the arms and legs may be a symptom of thoracic spondylosis. Pain occurs due to compression of nerves which extend into the arms and legs through the thoracic portion of the spine. Besides pain, thoracic spondylosis can cause weakness, numbness, and cramping in the legs or arms. These conditions arise due to nerve compression too. In severe cases, thoracic spondylosis can cause compression of the spinal cord and the development of problems with coordination and balance.